It's an attention grabbing campaign attacking a Minnesota tradition, the Juicy Lucy Burger. An animal advocacy group knew what it was doing when it put up these billboards next to restaurants that sell the mm. famous burger. Mariel Mose asked people what they think and if it will actually change their mind. It's funny. It's it's clever. Maybe you'll look up and laugh or not think much of it. They're just going to look up, see two cows and go by like moo, there's two cows. But nationally known animal rights activist group PETA hopes it'll make you think a lot. I think that this is a busy, busy corner and I think it's going to make people look at it and hopefully it'll make people at least think. This billboard takes aim at Minnesota's iconic burger by saying Juicy Lucy tears families apart. To bring the point home, this sign sits above Ray J's, which sells the Juicy Lucy. It's a little bit of mudslinging, I'd say, you know, a low down place to put it. PETA president says the goal of this billboard is to encourage people to go vegan. She said in a statement, the bond between a mother cow and her calf is so strong that both cry out for days after they've been callously separated to be used by the meat and dairy industries. People eat what they choose to eat, regardless of the signage. Alex Ranta noticed the sign after having a burger for lunch at Ray J's. I think I still would have got a burger. It's pointed because they sell it there. They, that's why it's there. Jeff Anxious thinks the billboard is perfectly placed. I think that we need more uh, vegetarian options and we need all those, I like sheet meat and all that kind of stuff, but we need, we definitely need people to think about where they're getting their food and they're consuming. And while Ray J's is known for their burgers and wings, they do offer vegetarian options, including a veggie burger and cauliflower substituted wings. In Northeast Minneapolis, Mary L. Mose, WCCO 4 News. Some options there. There's a lot of restaurants <laughs> around Minnesota that could have had that billboard given the popularity of that That's burger. True. We'll see if it makes a difference. PETA claims it also put the billboard up as I'm talking about it near Matt's Bar, another spot serving the Juicy Lucy, but Mary Ellen and her photographer, Tom Avillis, couldn't find them driving around today. We reached out to Ray J's for comment, but they declined.